Hey, welcome to another Tech Tuesday training. I'm Stuart, and I will be bringing you today uh, not.es notes, uh, video notes, actually. And it's a really cool way to interact with your videos that you want to show your class. It's also just a really good way for you to take notes if you're watching a video, say, a Tech Tuesday training. Uh, so let's just jump right in. Uh, we're going to start at our Google home page, our, our search page, but then we're going to go to apps. And I'm going to show you real quick how to go to the web store. Some of you guys don't know how to go to the web store, and there's no problem with that. Uh, you can either Google search Chrome Web Store, or you can go to your apps <clears throat> where you can see all your apps. And down here at the bottom, there's a link for Web Store. However you get there, we want to get to the one that looks like this. And then we're going to type in not.es and hit Enter. And that does our search. And we're looking for the actual app. So we're going to click on Apps up here. It's going to bring up all the apps from that result. And then we find video not.es, and we're going to add to Chrome. And then we're going to add app. And then it's going to pop up. I got my Chrome launcher down here on the bottom. Um, it's showing me that it's installing it. And eventually it should be completely done. Uh, so let's go back and look. Oh, there it goes. All right, it popped up, told me it was done. All right, so now we have it installed, and that's what we need to use. So you can get to that one of two ways. First way, I'm going to go back to my apps. I'm going to go to Google Drive. So I'm going to go to Google Drive, and I'm going to create a new video notes. So when you click on the new in Google Drive, you can create a docs, a sheets, a slides, um, and then any other app that is connected to Google Drive, you can use that too. So video notes is right here, so I'm going to click on that. And it's going to ask me which account to use, and I'm going to use my account. And it's going to open up a new video notes page for me. Once here, I can take any uh, YouTube or Google Drive, and I'll show you how to use Google Drive here in a minute, video, and upload it and take notes on it. And it's a really cool kind of... Um, deal let me just show you here we got our basics all right so i got my url for the video that Welcome i want to, to watch Tech tuesday today we're going to pause that so this is my google plus basics video so i'm going to go up here and i'm going to grab this url copy control c copy and then come over here and i'm going to paste and then i'm going to load video i'm going to end my tour um and now my video is loaded so i can play my video from here Welcome to another Tech Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about... Now, this is not a workaround for your kids being able to watch YouTube videos through this app, okay? This actually runs through YouTube, so if, there's, if it's blocked on YouTube, it's still blocked in, in this. So, let's give our notes some uh, a title. And since this was the Google Plus... Oops. Google, if I can spell today. Google Plus notes all right so we're going to save it and then i'm going to mute this just so we don't hear that audio but then we're going to hit play and let's just skip ahead a little bit so over here on the left i'm watching the video over here on the right is where i can take notes but let's go ahead and, and skip to something where we can all right take some notes all right so we're uh we're looking at um Google Plus um, feed page, um, and then we watch the video, and we're learning this, and we want to take some notes, and nothing's happening in the video right now. Um, oh, here we go. We're talking about um, different circles of friends, and... We can go from friends to family to uh, more. All right, well, that's, that's enough for an example. So you can take notes throughout this whole process of watching the video. And then when you go back to review your notes, all you have to do is click on the note that you took, and it takes you right back to that point in the video. So I, want to, I wanted to remember where Google Plus feed page, what it looked like. So I click on that, and it takes me back there. Um, talking about friends, family, and more, as far as which circles I want to see on my feed, I click on that, 
and it takes me to that part of the video. Um, and I know you didn't see much change in the video, so let's let's go over here. All right, and here is um, people that have me in their circle. All right, so if we're back here on um, friends and family and more, uh, and then I say, okay, I, I got that. I want to go to people that have me in their circle. I can click on this one, and then it takes me right to that point in the video. Um, so it allows you to timestamp your notes in the videos that you're watching. So it makes it really useful for, for you or your students to be able to go back and forth and say, okay, typing in my notes, typing in my notes. And then when you're looking through your notes, you're like, I can't remember exactly what that is. You can click on it and automatically jumps you to that part of the video. You don't have to rewatch the video um, or, or trying to figure out where this note fit into the timeline of the video. Um, in my opinion, that makes this an extremely awesome tool. Once you're done, uh, you can share this these notes with anybody you like. So if you wanted to go through and take some notes on a video and then share that with your class, uh, they would be able to skip to the parts of the video that you wanted them to skip to um, or, or look at your notes and then watch how the video plays in relation to your notes. Uh, so you can take this link and share it like any other Google Doc uh, because it has essentially become a Google Doc at this point. Um, you don't really have to save it because it's automatically saved in your Google Docs. So if we want to look at it, we go back to our Google Drive and we will look for uh, a folder that it automatically creates for us called Video Notes. So we'll click on that. And then here we go, we have our Google Plus Notes that we just created. So I click on that. Uh, no preview available. Well, we have a connected app. So we'll just have to click on that connected app and it will open up to where we left off. It has all of our notes over here. It pulls the video automatically for us, and we're good to go. Now, that's great for a YouTube video, but what about videos that you have in your Google Drive since in our district students can't get to YouTube yet? The answer to that is a little bit complicated, but it's only a few steps, and it shouldn't be that too hard to follow. What we're going to need to do, let me just close this and, and clean it up a little bit. <clears throat> um, we'll go back to our Google Drive. And let's find the video that we want to share with our students. So I'm going to go into my Tech Tuesday training folder and look for videos. And we'll just pull this one. So I want to share this uh, five extensions video that I've done. And I want to share it out with my students using uh, notes, uh, video notes. So I'm going to right click and preview this video now. Welcome to another. It's going to play in the preview, but this isn't what we need. This little button right here at the top that says pop out. We want to click on it. That's going to open it up in its own tab. At this point, we can now see the file identification that Google has given to this particular video file. That's this uh, after the D and before the view. Okay, so this alphanumeric number in here, including the dash. Uh, what we want to do is we want to copy that, all right? Now, now that we have the, the video that we want, we'll go back in here and let's go into our Google Drive. And we're going to create a new video notes. And now we're going to have to type in a little bit of the address. So what we're going to type in is HTTPS colon slash slash Google Drive dot com slash host slash paste that identification number from our video. And we're going to hit load video. Now our video is in here from Google Drive. Welcome to another Tech Tuesday. Today we're going to talk and about... And we can take notes on it just like before and title our notes just like before and do everything just like before. So that allows us to use videos that we have saved in our Google Drive with this video notes. Now, if you didn't go through that process, if you just went in and pulled the entire URL and tried to load that video, this is what you're going to get. It's 
going to look like it pops up, but you're not going to be able to, to click on anything. All right, it won't play. So the only way to do it is to type in the HTTPS colon slash slash googledrive.com slash host slash the identification number for the video you want to play out of your Google Drive. Um, I hope this video helps you use some of the stuff we've been talking about, especially if you're looking at using a Screencastify in your classroom or a flip classroom situation. Uh, this should fit in very well with, with those types of tools. Um, if you like the video, click, give me the thumbs up down there. Don't forget to subscribe to get all our new videos and catch us next time on Tech Tuesdays.